Okay, this is one more way that we can use the distributive property and one more strategy we can add to our toolbox to do one digit by two digit multiplication. So it says connect, record multiplication. You can use what you've learned about the distributive property to find products of two digit and one digit numbers. So this is a one digit by two digit multiplication problem and we need to find the product. So you can either write it out this way or you can write it out this way. I prefer this way, it makes more sense in my head. But if you like it this way, I say go for it. So first they want us to use the model. Shade the model to show each step. Okay, first I need to break this problem apart. So how many tens do I have? I have two tens, two times 10 is 20. So I'm gonna shade in the first 10, and then I'm gonna shade in the second 10. Make sure you get all the way to the edge. You can use your highlighter tool, I hope you did, on this part. So I've shaded in my 10s, and that leaves left over my ones, okay? So I have six rows, right? One, two, three, four, five, six rows of 20. And then I have six rows of three. Another way I could do it is six rows of 10 and six rows of 10 and six rows of three, if you're more comfortable with the distributive property. If you understand what's happening right now and you can do the six times 20, which we all should, we learned that in the last chapter, how to do um, multiply by multiples of 10. So what is six times 20? Six times two is 12 and then add my zero. So six times two is 12, add my zero because I'm in the tens place. So it's 120, all right, or 12 tens. Next, I need to multiply my ones place. What's six times three? You can either know this because you've learned your multiplication facts or you can count. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. Right? Now I need to add my products. 120 plus 18. Zero and eight is eight. Two and one is three bring down my one. So 23 times six is 138. All right, I'm hoping you got this question correct. Um, <clears throat> let's check our work on the bottom in the next video.